Why is it so important to approach a genre in a way that hasn't been done before? It goes back to that first rule of Hollywood, which is that Hollywood marketing is based on selling genres. Now, that means that everyone who has any sense of how Hollywood works now knows that if you want to be in the game, you have to write a genre-based story. Now, there are not that many different major genres. There are 12 major genres that 99.9% .9 of Hollywood films get made from, typically in combination of those 12. Now, there's the problem, which is that if everybody is writing a genre script, and genres, of course, have or essentially have anywhere from 8 to 15 basic story beats that must be present in that script if you are writing that genre script properly. If all you do is write that genre in its normal way, you're going to write a script that everybody else is writing. That has no chance to sell. And this is why in my class I'm constantly talking about these are the beats of the genre which gets you in the game. Well, I've referred to it as paying the dues, hitting the beats of the genre. But then you've got to go beyond that, which is you have to transcend the genre. You have to rise above it. You have to twist the genre in such a way that the audience hasn't seen before, which means that you take those 8 to 15 basic beats, and for each one of them, you do them in a unique way that the audience, that surprises the audience. And notice that what you get there when you transcend the genre is you get to have your cake and eat it too. Which is you give the audience all the genre beats that they're coming to that movie to see, but you're also surprising them. You're putting a different skin on those bones in a way that they haven't seen before. So they get that double pleasure. And that is the only way, in my opinion, that a writer can break through from the crowd and have their script stand out.